everybody and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Sun version. If you guys are excited for today's episode, please, 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 please don't forget to shield bash the like button down below. I appreciate the support. If you're new to the channel, think about subscribing. That would be awesome. I would love to have you in our community. But here we are today on Route 10 or Route 10, however you guys want to say that. Uh, Rodom suggested we come here even though there's a Route 11 the other way. That I also am tempted to go to, but uh, funny story, I actually had to go back and replay the events from last episode, so some stuff might be different. I apologize uh, if maybe I have leveled up a different Pokemon, and this time I forgot to do it, but uh, what happened is, after last episode, I forgot to save my game, so I had to go back and redo everything, uh, but yeah, anyways, not really a big deal. I've, I've done that now. This woman over here in the corner wants us to find her, snu her Stuffle, uh, so we're going to be looking for her Stuffle today. I actually... Talked to her off screen by accident. I thought she was a trainer or something. I don't know. But uh, here we go. Let's talk to this karate man. I was walking by that tree and a Pokemon landed right on my head. I don't know if I should call it luck or what. Uh, probably not. Probably not, depending on the bird, to be completely honest. Whoa. Okay, this dude means business. Look at this guy. He looks like maybe a firefighter. I don't know. What, a, what kind of costume is that? That's weird. That is weird. But, um... Uh, what was I gonna say? Oh, I wanted to apologize in advance because uh, you guys might be able to hear some background noise, and I really hope not. I tend, I like, I have my settings for my microphone a certain way to hopefully not pick up things like this. But I have loud neighbors above me playing really loud music, and it's like 90 degrees in my apartment right now. So I have a fan outside my door trying to blow cool air into my office. My office is like, I don't know if you guys ever had this. Um, like where you live or anything like that but there's always been one room and it's always my room it's always my room uh that is hotter or colder depending on the season it just all the time by like 10 20 degrees so back in my parents house well obviously where i grew up uh i i had like a top floor like farthest back bedroom and for whatever reason i i swear it must be an insulin uh, ins insulation thing not insulin uh an insulation thing uh, but for some reason, in the summer, my bedroom was always 10 degrees hotter than the rest of the house. In the winter, it was always 10 degrees colder. And I, I, I swear that's that must be like a, an insulation kind of thing. But um, uh, what was I doing here? Poliwhirl is part fighting. I almost used a dark move. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, let's, we'll just go with a bug bite, whatever. But um, yeah, so my office currently here is the same thing. It's like... Not insulated properly or whatever, but it's always 10 to 15 degrees hotter or colder, depending on the weather outside. So today it's really hot compared to the rest of the uh, the apartment, so that's why I got that fan going. So if you guys can hear background noise, I do apologize, or even background music, I apologize for that as well. But it is out of my control, I guess the fan really isn't out of my control, but the music is. But whatever, it's fine for today's episode, we'll just have to deal I doubt it, it's probably barely noticeable. Let's be completely honest. Let me know in the comment section down below if you can hear it. You got to have some super awesome headphones if you can hear it. I, I guarantee it. I have no idea. You probably can hear it all. I have no idea. But uh, yeah, I'm very excited to be playing today. Uh, I don't know if I already said this, but shield pass the like button down below if you're excited to continue our sun and moon videos. Um, the support really means a lot. Of course, it, it's really hard to get views on Pokemon Sun and Moon right now, so all the support I can get is greatly appreciated. If you are new, please think about subscribing. We got some cool stuff going on. We got this Let's Play, of course. We also have the PGL, which started up uh, t three weeks ago. This Tomorrow, for me, is the day that PGL Week 3 goes up. Uh, but for you guys, that would have been like yesterday or the day before. So... Yeah, it's actually pretty cool. It's like a Pokemon battling series. Uh, you, you you draft a team of Pokemon, and uh, let's see. Hold on. What are we learning? Fury Swipes? Let's take a look here. Libre wants to learn Fury Swipes. No thanks. No thanks. Keep old moves. But yeah, it's a competitive Pokemon draft-based format. You know, you pick Pokemon, and like if you take that Pokemon, nobody else can take that Pokemon and you battle other people in the league, and then you get a champion out of it. And it's pretty cool. It's pretty much like Pokemon, but sports. Hey, look, it's a, it's a Snuffle. It's pretty good hiding, because like you barely see it around that plant. Uh, let's see what else is going on here. Oh, there's an item. We want that. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. 
paralyzed heal. There we go. I see another snuffle. Stuffle? Stuffle. I keep calling them snuffles. Snuffles. Oh my god, there was one behind this. I thought he was behind the other tree. Is there also one right here? Yeah, there is. What the hell? Or what the heck? Oh my god, I'm sorry. I should be PG. Oh no, what is this? Is it going to be another crab brawler? Let's see. Crab brawler, come at me, brah. Today's episode might be longer, might be shorter. I don't have a timer up. I keep forgetting to turn those on for the episode. So you guys might actually make out with a longer episode, which could potentially be good because I'm actually pretty far behind on this series. So, you know, a little bit of extra time doesn't hurt anything. Oh my god, it lived. Look at that. Living those hits. We're going to live this easy, though. The pursuit, not even effective, bro. You are going down. You're going down. I feel like we never really use acrobatics. It's like the first time we've used it. But honestly, guys, Libre, Litten, uh, Incineroar, I guess, gets such good coverage. It's such a shame that it's such a slow Pokemon. Because if it had a little bit more speed, it would be so good. Literally gets U-Turn, Fake Out, uh, it gets Acrobatics, it gets it gets like every every type of stab. It's like super surprising. Uh, it, it gets it gets setup moves. It gets Nasty Plot. It gets Swords Dance. It gets um, uh, it gets Taunt. Uh, it gets so much. It, it's just awesome. It's an awesome Pokemon. Young boy with an Island Challenge amulet. Your Pokemon are looking a bit tired. Oh, perfect. We don't even have to go back. We got a nice old woman here. She's not even old, but still. Still, let's go back and tell that woman we found. Oh, no, don't look at the tree. Oh my god, that was massive. That was a massive bird. It was a hero, bro. Hero, bro. It's like uh, in the very first episode, didn't we get attacked by a bunch of Spearows? It's like they're coming back with a vengeance in Fero form. Let's uh, just fire thing this. Rah. Oh my god, massive damage. I just want Libre to evolve. Like, I want to see the big, beautiful Incineroar with those massive paws. I just want to see it on the screen. Even though Torcat's probably my favorite of the line. Although Litten's grown on me quite a bit. I mean, look at this. Look at how cute Litten is. So cute. So cute. But <laughs> it's grown on me. But uh, I still, I think Torcat's really cool. I think Litten's really cute. And Incineroar's just bad. Ace. Okay. Sharp beak. Look at that. He even dropped his beak. Oh my god. We beat him to little pieces. Well, let's go see if we found all of these stuffle. Let's see. Hmm. Well, three of them have come back so far, but they're... Oh my god. Wait. Five are still hiding? But where are the other five? You have way too many stuffle, lady. You're not allowed to have more than six at a time. What are you doing? What? This woman is crazy. Oh, there's one. There we go. And there's another one behind that sign. You can't fool me, Stuffle. You can't fool me. All right, let's grab this one. All right, we got uh, three more to find. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, that was weird. That one seemed like there was gonna be a cutscene. You can move icons around with the X menu. Okay, yeah, it's not really too great. Not really too helpful. This chick wants to battle. She wants to do, 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 do. Guys, I've been playing Duel Links a lot in my spare time. Actually, probably time that shouldn't even be technically spare time, but I'm just like I'm addicted. I'm addicted to Duel Links. If you do not play Duel Links, you should download it and give it a shot. This is awesome Yu-Gi-Oh card battling app. Uh, it's it's just it's freaking awesome. And I hope that they All right, so I was like a huge fan of Yu-Gi-Oh when I was younger. Uh, but I fell out of it way earlier than I fell out of Pokemon, to be completely honest. At least I think. Um, I never followed it past the original series, like, with... Once it became not Yugi anymore, I just stopped watching. And you think even before that, because I couldn't find any more episodes. The last thing I ever remember, and I hated that I was stuck at this cliffhanger, I have to someday go back and re-watch so I can figure out what happens. Because the last episode I watched, it was like... There was like a painting or, or something like that, and the, the dual monsters came alive and entered the real world through it. And that's the last episode I ever saw, and I was like, I always wanted to find out what happened, but I never found Yu-Gi-Oh! again. I never watched Yu-Gi-Oh! for whatever reason, never found it on, and then eventually I just 
didn't even remember it existed. Well, I obviously I remember, but it wasn't like I didn't care to go out of my way to find it back then. The internet was not as accessible, um, at least for me. I don't know, maybe other people uh, were able to find Yu-Gi-Oh on there, but I couldn't because I I, I don't know the 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 internet just wasn't as crazy as it is today. So someday I want to go back and watch up until the end of all of the Yu-Gi part. Um, until, you know, the next series, and I'm like, eh, no, I'm alright, because, eh, but, um, like, I don't even really watch Pokemon or anything, so, you know, I don't really care to watch Yu-Gi-Oh! either, past that, but, I've heard that Sun and Moon's anime is actually really good, so, please leave me a comment down below if you watch the Sun and Moon anime, and let me know if you like it, because if you do, and, you know, you really suggest it, I would definitely think about giving it a few episodes to, to grow on me. The art style, not ki my kind of thing, but, uh, I mean, I think it's just because it looks super cartoony. Kind of reminded me of, like, a like an American cartoon. But, if it's still the kind of sto same storytelling, uh, or like, like, the battles are still intense and stuff, like, I felt like they were going too childish, but if it's just, like, the art style looks like that and it's, like, kind of the same Pokemon thing... Then I'd be down. I don't know. I'd, I'd still give it a shot if you guys recommend it, but just let me know. Just let me know. I know I'm just rambling now about TV shows and and whatnot. Speaking of TV shows, actually, what TV show was recently announced to uh, to come back? There was something. What was it? Oh, I don't even remember now. Some TV show that like I watched when I was a kid that like they were doing something with. I know that there's a new Yu-Gi-Oh! like movie coming out with the original people, and I'm definitely gonna watch that. But uh, that might even already be out. I don't know. I can't remember what the other thing was though. Shoot! Shoot! Do you want to battle? There to battle you? I probably did. I have such a bad memory. Are you the last one? You little cute bugger. There might be one more. There might be one more. Let's just check really quick. Oh my God! There's some. Team Skull Grunts. Oh, there it is. There you are. All right, we're going to go talk to your mommy in a second. But first, we're going to battle this this stalker in the grass. What up? Oh, nope. First, we're going to run into a Pokemon, which actually reminds me we haven't had a single wild encounter. So let's see if there's anything new on this route. Oh, it's a Pancham. Look at that. Little cute, little cute Pancham. But I'm um, sorry. We were just going to run from this one. See you later, Pancham. If you were a new Pokemon, I'd catch you, but you're not. So, get out. Get out of here. What up? You wanna go? You wanna go? Huh? You wanna go? You wanna go? You wanna go? You wanna go? <laughs> uh, but uh, let me know also. I know. I throw you, like, like I feel like my videos, I have like a hundred questions of the day. Like, it's just like, people like normally put one thing on their layout. It's like, question of the day. And it's one question. It's so simple. But my video, I just think of like all these things I want to ask you guys. So, oh man, intimidate, really? We're gonna have to switch. All right. Uh, I wanna, I wanna know. What do I wanna know? I wanna know something. God, I have such bad memory issues. I need to go see a doctor. <laughs> oh my god. Um. Oh, I wanna know if you guys wanna see some dual links on the channel. I'm not that good, uh, because, to be honest. I, I, I haven't spent any money on the game. You can buy packs of cards, or you can grind out crystals and stuff. And I've been trying my best to ground out crystals, but it's just not going that well. And I have very bad luck, so I've pulled, like, not that great of stuff. I have some okay decks. Nothing that'll get me to King of Games or anything like that. But probably I might be able to grind through silver and into gold somewhere like that. So if you guys would be interested in seeing some things like that, I would totally... Be willing to do some videos on that but Libre is evolving let's check it out boom dum 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 bum dum dum this is the moment we have been waiting for since episode one he won the only Libre the Incineroar <laughs> there he is oh my god look at him this might have happened last episode I honestly can't even remember he wants to learn darkest Lariat are you kidding me Oh my god, I thought I said no for a second. That is amazing. We're gonna forget Bite for Darkest Lariat. Such a good move. One, two, and ta-da. Darkest Lariat. 
Man, look at him. He looks so powerful. So powerful. I, I do wish he had stayed on fours, but I forgive him. I forgive him because he's not a fighting type. You know, if he was a fighting type, I probably wouldn't like him as much. But he, he's a dark type, so that's all good. We all good there. And we're going to go talk to the stuff old lady. And then to those Team Skull grunts. And then we'll go from there. All right, let's go over here and stuff a lady. We found all your stuffles, I think. Oh, you choiled. All my stuffle have made it back thanks to you. You've been a great help to he me here. I surely do owe you, my young friend. Take these from me along with my thanks. Okay, we got the never melt ice. Don't know why I'm talking this way, but that's okay. We got the never melt ice um, and we received some cash. That's awesome. Uh, we have a stuffle as well. I don't know if she just commented on that, but that would be very cool if she did. Which reminds me... Well, actually, I want to keep Incineroar in the front so we can see him in battle. Uh, but after that, we're going to switch out our lead Pokemon so we can see somebody else for a change. But yeah, Incineroar, man. I'm telling you, Incineroar's a beast. I know you guys all agree. Just kidding. I feel like Incineroar is probably the least favorite starter. I don't know. I'd be wrong. All right, what is this? Oh, <laughs> awesome, we're over here. <clears throat> what? You never seen somebody take a bus stop and go before? Hey, yo, I'm trying to steal your bus stop. Best go find your own, you heard? With the... You guys, you can't steal a bus stop. I don't know what they're talking about. Probably misread it. <laughs> no idea what these these little punks are talking about, but uh, let's let's take them out. Oh, it's it's not a. Double battle. Yeah, I always feel like Team Skull is going to be a double battle. There's always two of them. He sends out Golbat. Yo, Golbat is about to get smacked down by Libre. Let's go. Libre. Oh, my God. So cool. Ah, all right. Libre. It is time to... Actually, let's just use Darkest Lariat. It's it's effective, so might as well. He outspeeds. Goes for Confused Ray. You can break through. Libre. Libre has been confused his whole life. I don't know what that even means, but it's okay. You'll break right through it. Uh, All right, I'll shut up now, Libre. I'll shut up now. You just, shh, you just do it, Libre. Oh, he gets poisoned too. Just focus. Oh my gosh, Libre. We just want to see Darkest Lariat. We just want to see Darkest Lariat, Libre. All right, Darkest Lariat this time. This time with feeling. This time with feeling. Oh my god. Libre, what are you doing to me, pal? What are you doing? You're supposed to be showing off to the people. Oh my god, okay. Pixie it is. Uh, who else do we actually have? Araquanid could use some levels. Yeah, let's go to Arac... Uh. What can Araquanid do, though? Araquanid has no moves. All right, let's go to Pixie. Pixie will handle this. All right, Pixie. Any, like, we could probably just Excel Rock and destroy this thing, right? No, they're kind of fat, aren't they? Kind of fat. Are you kidding? This is the luckiest Golbat in the world. Can I trade? I will trade you, like, my Zubat for this Golbat. I, I don't think that's a fair trade, but just take it or leave it. We're not going to go for Excel Rock. We, we have speed anyways. I don't know why we would. So there we go. Good job. Good job, Pixie. Picking up the pieces where Libre couldn't. <sighs> Die. Dying, I lost. Wait, my god. Then my homies got to fight you. That's just life in Team Skull. Uh, we stand up to even the strong, yo. We stand up, but not for long, yo. Wait, what? They stand up, but not for long? What? I, I swear, every time I read, like, Team Skull, I just misread it. I just misread it. Like, because they don't make any sense to me. I must, I must be an idiot. I really must. But uh, here we go. Here's Team Skull. He's sending out Eradicate. Okay. I see you. But uh, Libre has got to get the heckles out of here, because he is just... He is injured. Mm-hmm. He's injured. I wish we had a fighting type move on him. That'd be really nice. But Brady can come in. Brady's got some fighting type moves. He's got Rock Smash. Not really the best, but it's something. I'm so glad that thing didn't have Pursuit and just pursued us. 
My god, that would have been bad. Not like this is a Nuzlocke or anything. Someday I do hope to do like a, a Moon Nuzlocke. Maybe a, a Forever Wedlock. Uh, like the good old days. But for now, we're doing this. We're doing this. Please kill. Oh my god. Okay, you know what, Brady? I want you to get the kill, so let's just potion you up. I don't think you need a hyper potion. You just need a super potion. Yeah, super potion will work. Right? Yeah, you're good. Freaking Hyper Fang is OP. OPGG. Alright, Rock Smash, let's do this. Man, that hurts so much. Bam. Get out of here. You're dead to me. You're dead. Be gone. Oh, almost the level. Alright, so we took out both Team Skull Grunts. Let's see if they'll leave this bus stop alone. You, yo, you think this bus, uh, wait, what? Yo, think about the bus drivers. If we take this bus stop, they can all chill. Sure, I'm, I'm sure they don't want to get paid for doing their job. Oh, I'm over this. Back to living large at the mansion. Hoomph. You guys have a mansion? Team Skull has a mansion. It's Kakui. No say. What's happening, man? What's happening? Oh my god, he said it. What's happening, man? Some Team Skull bugs just ran past me and going in the other direction, ja. I sure wish they challenged the league instead of getting up to the no good all the time. Uh, challenge what? Oh ho! You'll find out soon enough. Just wait, you cousin. Just you wait, cousin. But first things first. If you want to head up to Mount Hokulani, we should take the bus. I'll blast us up there to the top, yeah. As quick as the sky uppercut. Alright, Kakui. My main man. This guy's awesome. Freaking Kakui, top-notch professor. Like, honestly, he lives in this super rundown shack on the beach. He's super chillax. This is the dude right here. This is probably the best uh, professor since Oak. Like, legit. Do me a favor and go check out the bus stop to see when the next one is coming, would you? All right, there's a bus stop sign here. Do you want to lead? Yes, we do. We want to take the bus. Whoa, okay, that was fast. You're welcome aboard the Executor Express. Our safe driving record will absolutely slay you. Come on, come on, climb in. I don't know if I want to be slayed, but sure thing. Let's just jump on this bus and go to Mount Hakulani. Okay. Oh, Kakuya. Over here. All right. Mount Hakulani is the second tallest mountain in Olola, and the tallest. Okay. Oh, some cutscenes. Look at that. That's thumbnail material right there. Check it out, Norsi. You see that steep, jutting, majestic peak right over there? That's Mount Lanakila, the highest peak in Olola. Okay, what about it? It's a sacred spot, Ja. The closest you can ever get to the legendary Pokemon of Alola. Said to be the sun incarnate. That's right, right there on the peak of La Lanakila. That's where, <laughs> that's where we'll establish a Pokemon League. Ooh. Look at everyone who's finished their island challenge in Ja. And up there on the peak of Mount Lanakila, they'll battle us a battle against the kahunas to become the island challenge champion i've always valued our traditions here in alola but it's time to make a champion the whole world will recognize it's time to get our own lead for and make our own pokemon league ja to think that someday the kittos in alola will be able to go from being the island challenge champion to the world champion and then when we all have our own champion they can show us, show the rest of the world what's so special about the Lola Pokemon and the trainer, Ja. My god, I lost it for a little bit there. Woo! That was a lot of dialogue, but that is so freaking cool. We get to build the league up from scratch. 
that is such a cool concept. I'm very hyped to continue this series, so I hope you guys all did enjoy this episode. If you did, please don't forget to shield bash that like button down below. Try to answer a question of the day, because there was like a hundred of them. I would appreciate that as well, and I hope to see you all in the next one. Till then, though, stay frosty, and peace out.